Hey everybody, Bueno Dias, good morning. Coming to you live from sunny Florida. Again, if you guys have watched my last few videos, I've been on the road, so quite literally, um, got everything packed here in my truck. Being on the road and getting back on the road and just knowing that this is gonna be my life for the next few months, it has its downsides. It's a little chaotic. It's really hard to get routine. It's hard to, uh, especially when you have a, a place you're saying that you can't really cook that easily. Um, I kind of have to find those little hidden gym gas stations that get those homemade burritos, you know. It's kind of a system. But that being said, I feel so grateful to be down here. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Sorry, that was just a uh, kind of a sketchy individual right there doing some weird things. I always have my head on a swivel looking for this type of stuff. It's just smart um, to be very aware of your surroundings. Anyway, I was able to kind of get into a good headspace and it's a constant battle for me trying to, and I'm, I'm usually really, really good at remaining positive. I've got a good outlook on life despite some crazy circumstances that um, I've been through throughout my life. They've made me stronger and they've made me really truly appreciate the little things. And today I'm super thankful to be here in Florida. I'm thankful for each and every single one of y'all. I'm thankful for the big bass that live here and I'm thankful for the freedom to be able to do what I love. Also thankful for that little combat cafe that makes some dang good chicken fried steak. Been living off that the last three days. So I wanna challenge you guys to every single morning. I've made this a big habit of mine for the last decade or so of my life. Just find a couple of simple things and just say them out loud what you're thankful for. And it just helps you kind of set your day off and with a smile on your face. And you never know if that smile could change somebody else's day. So that being said, we're here in Florida. Let's get out in the water. This is my first kayak trip in my new rig. Woo! I saw headlights, I'm like, what? And then it's like a freaking parade of boats. We've got a mile long section of solid trucks and trailers. <laughs> That's what you get on the last weekend of duck hunting. Yeah. Just be watching for gators because that's a, a lot of them here. Which we will. The thing of it is they'll be hidden. We probably won't see them. We'll I know. We'll see, their, we'll, we'll see those. They're decoys. Yeah. We can make this work. Yes. Look at that sunrise. That's beautiful. That's my favorite part. And I love fishing, but I am just as obsessed with sunrises. And now if we don't catch anything, at least we got a, a skunk, oh skunk, yeah. skunk, skunk, skunk rise. <laughs> that one. It's a little one. Oh, this came off. That was like a two pounder. I was just thinking this little, this little grass point's got to have a fish on it. There we go. Gosh, look at the colors on that one. It's beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Three bites, got two. Gosh, they are pretty. Look at the colors on them. Oh, oh he's got another one with me. Oh, this is all topped out. Just FYI. They seem now people don't clean up after themselves. Alright, so this, when you have, if you have a motor on the back, a Torquedo, what have you, this foot control steering is literally the way to go. It allows me to kind of set my, set my speed however I want, and then I can literally just fish, turn my kayak, move. It, it is phenomenal. Like an underwater culvert. Oh gosh, I caught the rod behind me. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, fish. It's getting a little bit bigger. Yep. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. I stopped paddling. I think I lost about a mile of my progress. Hold on. It's G. Shot, shot after shot after shot of these duck hunters. You're getting yes. shot at. Not at, but like it's it's nonstop shooting. There was like how many trucks think there were, Wendy? Like 40? That's like 30 or 40. 30 or 40 trucks at the ramp. They're all duck hunters in this area. 
Yeah, I've, I've, I, uh, I read somewhere that that was a duck hunting area. Yeah, we've got a couple okay. fish though. Nothing huge yet, but we're having fun. <laughs> got one! There's a girl! Mm, that one's a little better. <laughs> Gee, we're good luck. I know, just I'm so to call me. Gosh, but... they fight so hard. Wendy said call her. Yeah. <laughs> she can have some good luck. That's funny. Yeah, it's a, gosh, they fight so hard. A little better one. Come here, fish. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you're good luck. That's why I called you. Are you guys not seeing any birds? No, we got nine birds down. Oh. Look at that uh, one. Oh, it's a, a nice little, it's a, it's a little like slow in terms of how many we're seeing, but the birds we're seeing are, golly, they're closer than they were yesterday. You're kidding. That's got some width yeah. to them. That's a pretty one. Um, you got you a little three pounder? Something like that. Probably not quite, but close. Two and a half? Probably two and a half, yeah. But that's the biggest one so far. We'll take it. Well, it sounds like you're having a pretty blessed day. We are. We're having fun, but we're gonna look for the big fish. Okay, babe. Is it trappy? Uh, not really. Not. I really? wouldn't. No. There's maybe a couple areas you could throw, but uh, I don't know. You'd probably throw a trap here, but I don't. I'm not. There, I don't know. I haven't found an area yet where I feel like I could like could really do do well with the trap. No, uh, those traps just catch the big ones at this time of the year. Man, oh, you're that's working. right. Okay, babe. Good luck. Shoot. Okay guys, so as badly as I want to punch these mats and do some flipping, the conditions just aren't calling for it. Y'all heard G on the phone, he asked me if I was throwing a trap, I said no, these aren't really trap waters. They probably are. So I'm going to try to switch things up a little bit, let's throw a let's throw a lipless crankbait around see if we can't catch some fish that way. I hate to admit it, he's usually right. Oh my gosh! That was on the trap! Um... No, it's not a giant. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice fish. About the size we've been catching. That was the first cast on a rattle trap though. Or on a trap. Just knock slack in it. First cast with the trap. We might want to keep that in our hands. Get him, Wendy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, that's a bass. No, it's not. No, it's, not. it's a bass. Shut up. Oh, my God. Wendy, that's a nice it's one. <laughs> it's a buggy. Get him, Wendy. That's the biggest one of the day. That's definitely our biggest one of the day. Woohoo! <laughs> that was all of us just sitting right here right? too. I know, and I just said, man, it's about That's a beauty. Like... Nice, Wendy. I got that all on my GoPro too. Really? Yeah. That's, That's a nice, nice one. one. All right, so first impressions for the first two hours of our morning. Qual quantity is pretty dang good. We're catching a lot of fish. Wendy just caught a pretty nice one. Other than that, though, a lot of smaller fish. So. Trying to figure out, you know, with the conditions and water temperature at 60 degrees down here, there's so much stuff to fish. I'm just kind of overwhelmed by it all. But we're gonna try to figure out what these bigger fish are doing. Cause typically when you're catching a lot of the same size, that usually means those big fish are doing something just a little bit different. So we are gonna keep exploring. I'm gonna keep switching it up. I'm gonna keep that trap tied on, see if we can't get a bigger bite. First few hours in the new kayak, it's uh, proven to be a fish catching machine. There we go. Those lipless cranks really are just a big time Florida thing or just a just a grass thing, I guess, but floor is chock full of it. We'll keep throwing it. I mean goodness, are you guys just seeing this video and thinking like how fishy everything looks down here? I, I still like I'll never be able to get over 
Florida bass fishing. It's it's unreal. Just the habitat they've got down here. Major. Super, super cool. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one, finally. Right in the middle of nothing. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yes. Finally got a decent one. Goodness. That's a, that's a nice, healthy Florida bass. Right here in the middle of nothing. Whew. Let's get a closer look at that fish. That's a, that's a beauty. First, what I would call decent fish in the new kayak. Heck yeah, let's catch some more. Nice big Florida bass. Swim free. We'll see you next time. Ooh. Okay, maybe now we've got a little bit of a pattern. Just blind cast at everything. even bigger again just right in the middle how weird is that and look at that bait just bait just fell out yes you guys I feel like the big fish are about as catchable as anything right now they're just literally in the middle of these little pockets they do that sometimes though that fish might have been on a bed that's why let's get a good look at this thing yeah that is what we're talking about. Big Florida bass. Yes. Let's catch some more. Let's catch some more. We're just working on getting that good mojo in the yak, you guys. No shortage of fish this size. If anything else, we're getting a lot of practice setting the hook today. And there ain't a person in the world that can complain about that. And so far, just so far, I mean, Florida staples, lipless crankbait and, uh, you know, big worm. Making good casts, you know, that, that's, uh, that's important. Making good, quiet casts. This area gets, these areas get so much pressure, it's important to do that. But shoot, if you do, there's no limit of how many fish you can catch down here, it seems. Uh, to show you guys two kayaks running this year uh, for a few different trails. This is right here, it's going to be the Old Town Sportsman 120B LPDL stands for pedal drive. Pedal drive for certain tournaments are only pedal drive only, and that's why I have this over here, this kayak. This kayak over here is kind of Get out of the grass. Uh, it's Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. Autopilot being the That's a nice one. On the trap? Uh, on the on the trap. It's a nice one. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. So nice fish. I was just listening to Gregory De Palma, Bassmaster Elite Pro, saying that he's gonna fish some kayak tournaments this year. That is super cool. Um said he's partnering with Old Town. So what I'm guessing what's happened is that Old Town um, partnering with some of these guys is asking them or at least encouraging them to fish kayak tournaments. Or maybe Greg just really wanted to fish kayak tournaments. But that is really, really cool. Being a kayak angler full time, seeing a lot of the pros get sponsorships with some of the kayak companies. I want to, I would really like to see those guys fish some kayak tournaments. If you're going to be sponsored by a kayak company, I'd like to see that they're using the product and there's so many kayak tournaments. It's just really cool if they would, uh, they would invest the time and see what this is all about and jump in them. So the fact that he's saying he's gonna fish several of them, that's super cool. Kudos to Greg and I look forward to competing against him. 
Um, a buddy just sent me that to check it out. So that's really, really cool. I wanna encourage the rest of the pros that uh, have kayak partnerships, jump in these tournaments, see what they're all about. Dip your toes in, see what they're all about. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Juicy, hard to get to little spot back here might hold a giant. I've caught two that size. Oh, that one's a little better. What the hell is that? Oh, goodness. Yep, that's a sign right there. Yeah, stupid fish, miss you. I forgot y'all live here. Well, you guys, I just felt the first few drops of rain. It's getting colder, believe it or not. Caught a few more fish, but all in all, I think I'm willing to call it a day on my first day out in my new kayak. Oh, I think that, I don't know, I feel pretty good. I feel like it, we might have some really good, uh, really good tournaments, really good memory. A lot of ups, probably a lot of downs in this kayak for 2023. So I'm really excited. And just like G said, what a blessed day. What an amazing day to be out on the water down here in Florida. Not necessarily sunny right now, but the fishing was so good. We caught a ton of fish, got a couple good ones there at the end, and that's all a girl can ask for. Hope y'all are able to count your blessings and find reasons why you're blessed today. And I appreciate each and every one, each and every, each and every one of you guys so much. I'm gonna go get loaded up, gonna get to the Airbnb, Got a podcast tonight with Stray Cast, and it's off to Louisiana. But stay tuned, there's plenty more to come. Take care, y'all. All right, so first impressions for the first two hours of our morning. Qual quantity is pretty dang good. We're catching a lot of fish. Wendy just caught a pretty nice one. Other than that, though, a lot of smaller fish. So trying to figure out, you know, what the conditions and water temperature at 60 degrees down here. There's so much stuff to fish. I'm just kind of overwhelmed by it all. But we're gonna try to figure out what these bigger fish are doing. Cause typically when you're catching a lot of the same size, that usually means those big fish are doing something just a little bit different. So we are gonna keep exploring. I'm gonna keep switching it up. I'm gonna keep that trap tied on, see if we can't get a bigger bite. The first few hours in the new kayak, it's uh, proven to be a fish catching machine. <laughs> 